Hello everyone and welcome to my review of the Vax Air Stretch Pet. We're going to go through the tools, the machine itself, and then I will tell you things I like and a few things I really hate about this machine. So to start with the tools you get, you have your main carpet and floor nozzle, which is a slightly different design if you can see, it's kind of a smooth front. This is Vax's older one from the eco machine that's a lot squarer uh this is actually pretty good but it does really stick to the carpet especially this this is a kind of dense short pile carpet and it locks in to the floor and i will show that later you get a turbo tool this isn't the one that came with it that one is but it's exactly the same tool it's just that one's still sealed but the tool is exactly the same very, very soft brushes, see-through, pretty easy to open, you just roll um, the rim off and then it just pops open. I think this one screws actually, I think they changed the design, but yeah, pretty, it's, it's okay, it's not great, but it isn't terrible. This ghastly 3-in-1 tool, like, the this part is useless, but the dusting brush bit isn't too bad, this is going to be impossible to do in one hand. Excuse me for a sec. Oh my god. Damn. There we go. Okay. That is fine. And also, the crevice, just having the crevice tool is also fine. The upholstery tool is useless. But this is so stiff, it's ridiculous. I actually sliced my finger open trying to take the brush off to use as a crevice tool and I'm gonna have to put the camera down again because I have to do that again there we go okay so this is a, a great tool this part is very annoying and as you can see I sliced my finger open with it that wasn't now that was yesterday uh, you get this is a cool thing for a cylinder vacuum to include you get a stretch hose this will, I haven't tried it on the stairs, but I'm pretty sure you could easily get to the top of the stairs with that. But the machine, if I just take this off, the machine weighs nothing. So stairs will not be a problem for this machine at all. So that's fine. The total home version of this machine includes a separate softer dusting brush, but it really needs its own upholstery tool more than a dusting brush. The telescopic tube is metal and it's fairly light but it's very very short that's one of the things i don't like about this machine if i fully extend it as you can see it's not that long at all really it's very stubby and the standard hose that you use for floor cleaning is extremely short and that Eat with the, even with this short length of tube, you're basically constantly doing that with the machine and it's bouncing up and down. So, yeah, everything's just, like, the machine is small, but then everything else is just short. Something else that is... Some, okay, let's just do good things now. Good thing. The bin is fairly big for the size of the machine. So it's 1.5 litres, I think. And it's multi-cyclonic. And the multi-cyclone system is actually very efficient. I've been using this as my main vacuum for two months now, just to test it out. So this is two months, that's it. That clump of hair is from where I blocked it, but I'll explain why that happened later. So the cyclones are actually very efficient and that machine gets a gold star for cyclone efficiency. But there's a problem with that, which we'll get onto later. Putting this back on is a bit fiddly because on my mod on my unit, the arrows aren't actually lined up with the clips, so it's actually slightly off what the arrow thinks it is. And something I don't like is what the build quality of this is kind of really bad. If I twist it, just listen to the handle. It creaks, and it just feels like that's going to come off when you're twisting the top. And again, with the clip button, it just sounds really, really cheap. The wheels, these are... They kind of feel rubbery, but they they don't run very well, and you'll probably end up scratching half walls if you use that. There is a HEPA filter located behind this door, which you turn that way, pull it out. There's your HEPA filter. 
that's just going to have carbon dust on it from the motor. There's not going to be any actual dust in there. This is the annoying bit. So I'll do this with one hand. Push it in. Stay. Please stay. Hang on, I'll put the camera down. There we go, okay. The machine isn't too loud, so I'll just show you that now. Now, what I was saying earlier about the problem with the cyclones. This part here is where all the fine dust goes. And I got, there was some hair that went in here and came out there. And it blocked that top section. And then it all backed up and went straight up there and into the filter. Which is why there's all that hair. Because, again, this machine is tiny. That blocks quite a lot. Ah. The bin actually seals quite well. For instance, that machine, loads of grit comes out from that seal, causing the whole machine to get covered in dust. It is quite a staticky machine. As you can see, there's a lot of dust just attracted to it immediately. But yeah, it's pretty decent, other than the horrendous tools and this problem and it kind of feeling a bit cheap. Just, Vax, if you're watching, make this longer and give like this is i think it's 1.5 meters just make this like 1.8 meters just make it a little bit longer and then this machine would be far better so thank you guys for watching that was the air stretch pet from vax and i will see you later by the way colors are nice